He says here, this, this faith without works is not saving faith. Faith without the evidence of it, it must, it, the light must turn and say, is something wrong, is something missing? Because in essence, there will be some fruit in one's life. You know, you know, people, I don't know if you ever question your salvation. People who are doing what the book says and doing what it says, they don't question. It's only the people who aren't living the life and who drifted, playing, uh, playing games, one minute being in church, one minute being out serving the Lord, lukewarm. That's when you start questioning because you don't know. Because you ain't been doing what it says. Turn with me your Bible to 1 John chapter 3. seven through ten. <coughs> Little children, <coughs> let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of Man, Son of God, was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for a seed remaineth in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that we heard, he heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Now, First John, the book, the love chapter, and those things about sin and so on in context are it's not what you think that we don't sin. But in essence, what he's saying that if you are a follower of Christ, you're going to do right. If you're not a follower of Christ, you're going to do wrong. Now, we know that in this earth, we, 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 we got this old body, so we're not going to be perfect. But the goal of every believer when you come to Christ is to strive to be like him in all matters. In essence, to be holy, to be set apart. So he says here, look, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't say you have the saving faith and there is no evidence of it. Then he gives the example of Abraham, and we know Abraham, uh, Isaac. Isaac was a son of, son of promise. God says to Abraham, look, I want you to sacrifice your only son. Now, I don't know about you. I read that story, and I think that's amazing. That Abraham trusted God so much that he'd be willing to put his son on that altar to sacrifice him. Abraham had true faith. He had that faith. He didn't know what was going to happen, but he knew the character of God. He knew the promises that God had made of him. And he was willing to put his son on that altar, and we know that God delivered him. And the scripture said it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Why? Because of what he did. He knew he believed. See, it's easy, it's easy to say, I believe and I have faith when times are easy and soft and nice and easy. I told Pastor, you know what, Pastor, I don't want to do. He told a story one time about this church. I said, Pastor, I just want to turn the lights out one day. And let's just do this. Let's just do this drill. Let's turn the lights out and just put some black masks on some people running there with them cap guns and start shooting. Are you going to cap, cap, cap? And see what happens. He said, man, see, that's that young stuff. Man, how do people have a heart attack? They ain't look. They ain't because they not fall. Happy we run and step on each other. I said, let's do it. Let's see. If they go, they're going to happen. <laughs> It's easy to be a follower of Christ when times are easy. Everybody's a follower when there's nothing going on, there's no persecution. But when times get tough, that's when we find out what you believe. We find out when you're put in that awkward situation because your faith is going to be evidenced by what you do. Faith without works is impossible. Saving faith. You can't say, I have faith, but I ain't got to do nothing or I have work. No! You got that salvation. Now, what's the evidence? We tell our kids, when my kids get into trouble, we always ask, you're going to ask some questions. You say you know Christ, what's the evidence? Let me, let me just say, oh, it's, we just make no sense. Oh, they came to Christ, they got baptized. Oh, they. None of us, the truth is, no one really knows. Because we don't know your heart. I don't know your heart, you don't know my heart. But you do know what I do. 
Side note that is that sometimes you can do the right things and not know it too. Yeah, some people quote the whole scripture and don't know it. Well, first, you got to put your faith and your trust and be a part of this family. Simple faith. Put your faith, your trust, your hope in Jesus Christ alone. From that, you become a part of the family of God. Then the things that you do on a day, your language, the places you go, the things that you say are evidences of knowing him. And the people, I hear people say, well, I can go hang out at this place and I can hang out that place because, you know, I'm a believer and, and it'll be different. Christ did. No, Christ hung out with some rough people. They didn't like it because he hung out with sinners and so on. But remember the difference in Christ when he did what he did. Christ went, he was challenging about their spiritual life. He didn't go hang out with uh, Brother Chapman and just sit there and say, okay, Brother Chapman. He said, Brother Chapman, do you know, do you know where you headed? That's what he did. He didn't just sit there and get quiet and say, boy, we can hang out and be friends and hopefully one day you'll come to church. No, he had a purpose in what he did. And so he says, hey, look, Disney's faith, 